I'm getting real sick and tired of driving down to Maryland, but here we go one more time, hopefully the last time. Gonna go pick up the boat and take it across the CNG Canal, down the Delaware Bay, and then up north all along the coast. Hopefully make it to at least mid or south Jersey by Monday. It'd be even greater if we could make it all the way home, but progress is progress. So of course it's another rainy day. <laughs> we always drive in the rain, but headed out. Hopefully get there by nine o'clock, sleep, and then leave in the morning. What do you think, babe? What? I think it's stupid that there's these wooden caps that aren't like cutting boards or like plastic. You mean on the countertop? You can't put water on top of them. You can't put hot things on top of them. They're just in the way. Right. Might as well make it something like useful. Well, maybe we'll modify that. Yeah, like something where you can, it's plastic so you can like put the... Use it as a cutting board. Yeah, cutting board or something, it's just stupid. Yeah. Well, it's been sitting for a week. Let's see if she wants to start. Cranking, that's a good sign. You know you want to start. I love that. All right, ignition's on. The bottle's in the start position. Manual joke. Come on, baby. Don't like that. And now. Now on to the Chesapeake Delaware Canal. Harbor North Marina. That's in Chesapeake City, Maryland. It's just a bit past 1 p.m. Got a very late start because I had a lot of work to do this morning, a bunch of conference calls and that sort of thing. But I basically had the afternoon off, so I am heading out now. I'm going to transit the CND Canal. I believe I have the current flowing in my direction, so I should get a little push. I hope. Um, we'll see. Doing seven knots over ground. Motor is uh, right in its cruising RPMs. So I'm pretty sure we have uh, a bit of a current with us, which is very cool. And we are right in the channel. I guess it's kind of hard to avoid, uh, but we're heading up Back Creek, uh, which then connects into the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal, or the CND Canal. Definitely not gonna try to sail through this. <laughs> Exercise lesson one in the sailing that I gave to Virginia. Lesson one is always don't hit anything. curious what this means. Does this mean I, I don't have the proper charts loaded into this thing? And if not, where the hell am I going to get them from now? Uh... Actually, here's what's weird. If 
probably zoom out on this. Look at that. I got something. Well, here's some more bridges coming up. Luckily, it appears that the lift bridge off in the distance there is lifted, as apparently it usually is. Every now and then they lower it if there's some railroad traffic. I believe I'm not going to have to worry about it. I know that there's a little pipeline here, or whatever this is, is uh, well above the tip of my mast. Still, I always keep an eye on it and wonder, what if I'm wrong? <laughs> We're in for a hell of a mess. Natural gas pipeline. There's the railroad bridge. It's really helping me out here. Uh, I can imagine trying to uh, fight against this, you know, get a two or three knot current. That would really slow me down. According to my chart plotter, I'm um, actually getting fairly close to the Delaware River. So, a few more miles, I'll pop out the other side of the C&D Canal. possible that I'm going to end up transiting the entire Sandy Canal without seeing a single ship. Which is both a blessing and a curse. I mean, I'm sure it's a little nerve-wracking to have a gigantic ship passing along on your side, but uh, still it would be kind of cool. Oh well. Take what I can get on this old boat. Delaware City now. Well, I guess that counts as something. I believe that's a barge of sorts. Let's we'll see if we get a little closer. What do they call a tugboat? A tugboat when it's pushing. Isn't it properly termed a push boat? Hello, traveler. I believe this is the final bridge approach on the C 
CND Canal. coming up, big ships. Piece of land here, I believe, is called Reedy Island. If I get into some trouble, apparently I can tuck in behind there. I think I'm going to end up going quite a bit further than that today. Look at that. Got one towing, and then one on either side, I guess, helping steer. Basically, avoiding these guys off my port side and then we've got Reedy Island over there on my starboard side closer to Reedy Island it gets pretty shallow but right now we're in oh, 55 feet of water I think we're good Once I get past Reedy Island over here, I'm going to turn into the wind. I might furl the Genoa a bit and uh, raise the mainsail, see how I do. I don't trust this motor. I'm very hesitant to just shut it down, but it does seem to start pretty well when you have a screwdriver in hand, so I don't know. I guess I'm all right. What do I know? Okay, still have the engine just idling. I'm going to uh, reduce this head sail significantly. Oh, a little head sail. Now I'm going to turn into the wind. pretty good. Alright. I don't know 
Well, it's flying, but it's fine. This way. Oh, boy. I wish I knew what I was doing. And in all this, I just lost the motor. doing five knots. Not bad. There's Delaware. And there's New Jersey. Well, light winds. Doing uh, three or four knots with uh, the mainsail and the Genoa up. Engine's not running. I hope it'll start. <laughs> I got a couple hours still before sunset, so I'm just gonna keep on cruising down Delaware River into the Delaware Bay and uh, hopefully find some shelter before dark. Oh. Have you figured out yet? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think we're gonna prepare to jive. successful job. <laughs> but it worked. I'm actually wing on wing. I'm going absolutely directly downwind and with the current. Um, and this thing is a bitch to steer. I feel like I'm never going to get past this nuclear power plant. Ooh. Wind just kind of died quite a bit. I'm oddly alternating between wing on wing and uh, both sails to the port side. I don't know. Maintaining about three knots, but it feels like zero. <laughs> I either need more wind or I might have to start the motor. This is pretty slow. I know sooner or later I'm going to get a chance to try to sail upwind, but to date, since we got this boat, I have never had a chance to drop one of the centerboards and try to sail this thing upwind. Never had the chance. I've had the wind directly in my face um, and not a lot of room to tack. But, whatever. Downwind. Wind's right on my ass again. But, wing on wing. I'm way outside the channel, so I don't need to worry about him, but I do have a container ship creeping up on me. And he'll probably end up passing me on the starboard side. So, solo sailing on a boat that you're not very familiar with in a waterway that you're not at all familiar with. It'd be a little stressful. <laughs> I am cruising down the Delaware River, getting pretty close to actually entering, I think, officially the Delaware Bay. And it's about 6 p.m. I have a target in mind I'm a few miles away, but I have absolutely no idea if it's a good anchorage. Um, Search the internet a little bit, see if people mention 
dropping the hook there and no. I'm not gonna make it to any of the two or three places people mention that they do anchor. But I'm gonna consult the charts here and I'm gonna pick a place that looks like it has a little bit of protection. Not that these tankers and things are throwing up huge wake, but a little protection maybe from the wind and current and waves. One that looks like it has enough depth, which thankfully I don't require a lot. <laughs> and we'll give it a whirl. It's an hour and 17 minutes until sundown. I'm not sure where I'm gonna end up. Just cruising along. Four knots. Marshlands of South Jersey. Well, I pulled in the head sail, left up the main for the moment, and I found that uh, the motor tends to, at least at the moment, be quite reliable as long as you're willing to start it with a screwdriver. Starting salt nut is garbage. I am going to make a run for, I guess the Cohansey River here. I'm uh, just shy of Arnold Point. And it's yeah, about four miles from where I am now. And I have about an hour till sunset. So I'm gonna motor over here and I know the Cohansey River entrance has been uh, changed and there's a lot of shoaling ever since Sandy, according to people online, thank you. But apparently I can tuck into the Cohansey Coves fairly well and it's got good holding. We'll give it a shot. Note to self, I seriously have to figure out the right way to drop the mainsail because when I'm up there, it's ugly. I don't have a downhaul line not that I'm aware of. So I end up just kind of grabbing handfuls of sail and yanking it down, which is probably not the right way to do it. When I have the opportunity to do so, certainly autopilot while motoring is a good opportunity. I kind of like to prep my anchor. I like to pull out all the chain and I also like to hook my two bridles up to the end of the chain. So that way the bridles and the road can all act together to retain the anchor and retain the boat in its position. Look, Ma. No hands. It's still Delaware. Here's New Jersey. We're going right up there somewhere. You're at the mercy of the ocean, or the bay, or the river, or whatever. Anything can happen. Hopefully tonight, you get a nice firm anchor. Hopefully the greenheads won't be out trying to eat me alive. If you don't know about greenheads, just stay away from South Jersey. And hopefully I'll wake up refreshed, ready for a new day. Dunks bar, basically right after that. In left, there should be a little channel. Here's Dunk's Bar. There's a little channel that goes up this river, and actually, there's marinas up there if I need them. Uh, but I think I'm going to go in here, and then I'm going to cut through here to make a hard right, and I'm going to tuck in somewhere up here. 15 minutes to sundown. Look at that, there's a sailboat back there following me. I don't know where he's going. my mind just a little bit rather than go in the channel entrance up the Cohansey River I'm actually gonna go around the eastern side of this little island whatever it's called um, I don't have confidence that the little slice through that connects the river to the Cohansey coves is going to be deep enough or even wide enough so I'm gonna go around the eastern side of this little island and try to stay in the slightly deeper water in there. It looks like I have areas of low tide 10 to 12 feet and plus swinging around from this direction will give me the opportunity to uh, point the boat into the wind, what wind there is, a little breeze, um, and that'll help me set the anchor, I hope.
that is an island. A little blinky light on it. I'm about to cut around it through the slightly more deep areas up in this way. And then I'm going to go that way. Right up. What I want to do is put it in reverse a little bit and see if I can set that anchor. Yep, that's set. <laughs> 